Hi, I'm Mrs. McDonald. Recently, we did a homeschool um, unit on oceans and we had a big group come for three days for three hours a day and we had a lot of fun. So what we usually do is whenever they first come in, we have some fun, fun things to keep them busy, like a group puzzle that they can work on while they're waiting for their friends to come, some papers. Um, usually we have one for, you know, different age groups because the kids vary from three to 10 and um, we have books laying around all the time. So um, I'll show you all the books that we used. Um, I actually read Walter the Whale Shark. It was very good. I actually read Down by the Bay, Where the Watermelon Grow. Back to my home, I dare not go. Oh, they loved this one. The Three Little Fish and the Big Bad Shark. Ugh, I had never read it before. And it's really fun when they join in with it and they start saying the little fish, little fish, let me come in. Not by the hair. Oh, not by the skin of my finny fin fin. <laughs> um, they enjoyed that book. Um, and then this book I had never read before. I really liked it, The Boy in the Sea. It's a really good book. You might want to check it out at the library or order it. Um, and then this short little book, Nighty Night Narwhal. Who doesn't like a narwhal? And I also read Hark a Shark. We also had laying out this dolphin book, Pete the Cat at the beach, wish for a fish, swim fish, the ocean, ocean life. You get the idea. A whole big variety. Big fish, pout pout fish. Got to have the pout pout fish and little island. Okay. So we had a bunch of books for them to look at whenever um, they weren't busy with an activity. Then for the um, arts and crafts, we had a lot of different things. Our main thing for the week was this mural. We did it in three days. Um, the first day we had the kids just paint the background blue. Some of them had some whites and there. Some were darker at the bottom and lighter at the top. This is covered all over. This was the youngest child, my grandson. Um, and then down at the bottom we had them put sand and then we had them add seaweed um, and their little fingerprints for the leaves. And then later that day we used four fingers, painted black, turned it upside down um, for the four of the arms and then we painted four fingers in the palm red the, uh, the whole hand to make the front of the octopus and then we added eyes which this one's the last one already and a little smile and there's their octopus the older kids put used q-tips dipped in white paint to put little tentacles on the arms really cute um the second day we did their foot to make their um orca and then we put a blob of paint and had to move it up to make coral. Um, he only did one. <laughs> Some of the kids did four or five, like a couple over here, a couple over here, and would make little branches out like a tree and things. Um, he, like I said, he's the youngest. Um, then the third day, we made a turtle and with um, four brown fingers, um, green and green thumb, green palm, and then we added little fingerprint spots. And then we also gave them the option to add some fingerprints that later on I made them into fish or um, some crabs and different things like that that the kids wanted to make. Um, and here's, here's one of the little scratchy things I made for him. So that's what we made for the main craft, but we had a whole bunch of other things. We had to get a seahorse in there, so we added this. Um, I got a little template and traced it onto blue paper and my helper and I cut it out ahead of time on the blue. And then we got a piece of contact paper and gave them tissue paper squares and had them cover it, put it on the back of this, made there. If you hold this up to the light, it looks so cool. And then we had them decorate it. So some of them got really creative. I always love seeing what they come up with. Um, we also had the, these are from Melissa and Doug. I think I got them on Amazon. Um, shells, there's like shells and fish that they scratch off and they make them really pretty. And so they could do some of those and save them to put on their murals. We also had a pack of things they could cut out, just different pictures. I got this from a little book. And then they, after they cut it out, um, they could glue it on a paper and then decorate it. And some of the kids really made some cute pictures. I wish I could, I wish I could show them all to you, but it would take forever. Um, whenever they played outside, we had a, one, blue swimming pool with sand and seashells and we had another 
blue little swimming pool with the um, water beads and we had some different sea creatures in that. And um, I have a playlist of the different song videos and the um, educational videos that we used. And if you'd like to use them, um, just find them below and you can use those. If you ever have any questions or anything, just write them below and I'll be happy to tell you what we would do. But basically that's the way we handle it and the kids have so much fun. <laughs> they really do. So um, I hope you enjoyed that and happy oceaning. <laughs> Bye.